action. And then he, oh my goodness. Really? I'm still alive, but this, this guy won't let up. He is scratching my paint something fierce. He's actually dropped me uh, seven, seven, like almost 700 uh, HP. Well, thanks, you ridiculous teammate of mine. Oh, I'm too far. I can't get that shot. Mountains in the way. What are you guys doing? Ah, so I have to I'll come down here. For you. Thank you. All right, guys. So, my buddy Blood Crow is hosting me right after this. Uh, actually, I can probably do this right now. Let's see. Minimize this. Exclamation follow Blood Crow. So closing in on you. Can't see it. Give him a follow. Check him out. He is an awesome streamer and he is a great friend. So. What's the range on that thing, by the way, once it's max range? Exclamation Blood Crow. Who is Blood Crow? Does he play Earthbound? Um, Blood Crow is a good friend of mine. He has not gone the other way. He's not actually uh, set to play uh, retro games. He's gone back and played like some stuff I've never even heard of before on the PC. Uh, can I have a key? Ethan C. Trooper. I can't just give keys away. We are running another raffle here in eight minutes, my friend. Hey, you need a, I think you should pull it up. You're about to run into three battleships. Can we hit? Oh, someone hit us. Ah, there's a fight going on at B. Boom! We're just a monster of a battleship. Oh, this is so annoying. I'm not even damaged. My turrets just aren't turning. Here they come. You've got a destroyer right in front of you. Watch out for torpedoes. In this About to have a lot of torpedoes. <laughs> we got one hit on him. He's going to hit us with some torpedoes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> my little turrets. Oh, we've been wrecked. But a one for one is just fine in my book. But oh my goodness, we've been wrecked. Wow. Are you dead over there as well? Yeah, I died real early. I got stuck. Exit to port. Yes. Guys, when we get the when we get the big rig back, the streaming machine 
we will be doing support at the port, which allows us to do song requests, the games. We can do everything all at once, and that's what makes this so great. You're in a tier four? Okay. I'll go mine Kaze. It's always fun. Poured, he said no. Basically, you get one key at a time. Yeah. Um, guys, everyone in the channel, please understand this. If you won, if you win one world of ship, uh, one world of warships beta key during this raffle, you have to wait until the next stream tomorrow in order to win another one. That's how this works because these keys, everyone wants them. So unless, you know, if it was a regular game or, you know, I just had tons of games, you know, fine. We, you know, we'd allow for like two winnings a day. Ethan C. Trooper. Hi, how are you? Um, that's why I didn't enter the last giveaway. Thank you, Pord. Thank you. The, if you win, basically here's how it goes, guys. If you win the World of Warships beta key, you can't enter into any more raffles for the stream that day. However, if you win a game versus a World of Warships key, you still have a chance to win a World of Warships key. So you can, ch you can honestly win twice if you plan it out right. And you get good RNG in real life. Mojo, are you still trying to get in? You got a max number of keys, like. Or Siphon, are you trying to get in? What's the key? What's the uh, keyword? Oh, we don't have another. No, I mean like into the division. division. Oh. <laughs> My Phoenix is back up. I'm getting so little experience. Yeah, I'll be able to jump on it in like ten minutes. Oh, okay. Do one more. All right, I'm going to start. Wow, we got pulled right away. I'm going to start this raffle now and let it run because it's going to take 10 minutes, guys. Now you got a lot more people. Here you go, guys. Exclamation ship. To get them entries in, Andrew JS18 is the first entry into the raffle. Tennis Mac, Jomo 3453, Elephant Egg, bringing up the rear. Again, exclamation ship, guys, exclamation ship. Oh my goodness. I know, right, guys? I'm not a huge, you know, top-notch, you know, partnered Twitch streamer or anything, but I'm trying, and you guys seem to love this crazy captain over here. So once we get the big rig back, you guys will get to see this face 24-7, 365. At least until, you know, school starts back up and all that craziness. Um, I have some really cool news when the big rig comes up. Um, there's going to be a lot of amazing things going on, and there's going to be a benefit for donations and stuff like that. We are implementing things off to the side as we, we are waiting for merchandise to be created at this point. You need to get some beard merchandise in there, by the way. Just saying, that, that top seller right there. Beard merchandise? Beard merchandise? Very much. Just, just like, you want to look like Game Key? Here's a beard on me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Right there. Just, just fake beards. Yeah, that and like dirt with like it just has your beard. Like your face is cut out. It's just the beard, and it's like fear the beard or something like that with a catchy quote. Well, I know we're going to have, if, if I ever make Twitch partner, I actually want to make a beard love emote because it'll be just the beard, guys. And so many folks love Twitch streamers with beards. I don't understand it, 
Um, there's a streamer I watch. He's called Beard Envy. Due to the fact that he 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 can't grow a beard, he's jealous, and uh, he you know envies folks who have beards. You know, I I made the the response back. You know, beards are grown to intimidate the folks who cannot grow them. Oh, that's perfect. I mean, why do you think the folks from most men from Russia look so intimidating? Usually they're like that mountain man strong guy who has just the biggest gr grizzly beard ever. And it's like, I want to look like that as a Twitch streamer. <laughs> you want to be a mountain man Twitch streamer. Heck yeah. That's amazing. That's, that's also part of the reason why I've started uh, my, to set my plans in motion for this summer. Um, I quite literally am going to be working out in, in the mornings throughout the summer in order to drop uh, drop some of this weight. It's a uh, you know my weight's a little bit unhealthy. I'm only five four and I'm I'm like two fifty. Um, however, uh, all of my weight is centered right around my waist, like my stomach and my waist. And then, like, my thighs. Everything else is still good. My arms are still the same size. My shoulders are big. But I just look really stocky. <laughs> are we ever going to load in? Yeah, the battle started. I'm... Are, are, are we, are we going to load in? Are you... Like, I can see the map. I I personally don't know what's going on. I think I may have to start restart World of Warships, guys. We didn't even load into the match. Like I'm not loading in at all. Um do some cardio, cut your calories, problem solved. I know, right, F and Bomb? Um, if I win, I will do my own giveaway. I hear you, Pord, with people in the chat. <laughs> I have beard in me. Envy. <laughs> uh, same here. I'm 195 with broad shoulders, but low-carb diet and exercise helped. Like, I'm just quite literally, like, it's terrible. Like, basically, two, you know, two years of being out of the Marine Corps, and I'm just like... You know, two kids later, um, unofficially married, because we're engaged, we're just not married yet, and I do everything I can for my family. It's just like, uh, I put on like, let's see, 80 pounds, like 80, 90 pounds in two years. That's That's a lot of weight, and quite literally most of it came from... I think this past year. So here I am. All right, we are going to reload World of Warships. It's just like not working for us. It's broken. You can actually block incoming damage with your beard. I know. There's a f there's like a fist in here that just like karate chops rounds out of the way. You're still with us and not passed away with the military. Um. Gotta save somebody. Yeah. Okay. Now World of Warships doesn't want to exit. Um. I left in 2009 over to Iraq. I deployed with a great unit, great group of folks, and it sucked. Like, it was like beachfront property without the water, guys. It was terrible. It was just hot sticky i actually did my job uh of being a uh mims clerk which it's it's considered b mims which is an acronym for basic marine corps integrated maintenance management systems so i quite literally was like supply for a garage shop and i maintained uh our like 500 plus vehicles in my shop for X amount of days, 
try to keep everything at 100%. If we didn't have it.